inside and see what it had. You are provided with the following solution A indicator. This was methyl orange indicator. This one was methyl orange. Methyl orange indicator. Solution B 0 0.5 0 0.05 mora compound B. Uh, solution C1 hydrochloric acid to be used in question 1A and B. So procedure 1. Place two test tubes in a test tube rack. To the first test tube, place about 2 cm cube of solution B. To the second test tube, place about 2 cm cube of solution C1. Add two drops of indicator solution A to each of the test tube. Shake and note the color of each solution. Record the colors. So the students were supposed to record the color solution b which we don't know plus indicator a the color was yellow so you, the students we needed to write what they see the observation solution c1 plus indicator solution a uh, the color was pink You should know the color of indicators in different solutions. If the solution is an acid or a base, different indicators in naphthalene and orange, methyl orange, they change depending on the solution. So you should know that. Complete the following statement. In the titration of solution B in a conical flask with hydrochloric acid solution indicator solution A, the color changes at the end point is from the color changed from yellow to pink. So these are the free marks that the students were supposed to get to pink. Procedure 2. Using a pipette and a, a pipette filler, pipette 25 cm of uh, 25 cm cube of solution C1. C1, remember, is an acid HCl. You should know that into a 250 centimeters cube uh, ml 250 ml volumetric flask add distilled water to the mark label the solution c2 fill the purette now in the purette we have c2 using a clean pipette pipette filler place 25 centimeters cube of solution b in a 250 ml conical flask Titrate solution B with solution C using three drops of indicator solution A. Re record the results in the table. So after doing that, these were the values. This was the values, our values, because each school could have their own values. So don't worry about the value. This number is, doesn't matter. You can use N and you will score the marks. Calculate the average volume of solution C2. So when you see this one, it doesn't mean that if you got 14, it is wrong. If you got even 20 centimeters cube as an average, still it is fine. An average volume solution is C2. So now let us calculate average. Remember average it is 13.6 plus 13.7 plus 13.6. You divide by 3. This one will give us 13.63 centimeters cube. So that's how you get your one mark. The next question is calculate. The question starts here. Calculate the number of moles of compound B used. So you need to know what information of compound B that you are provided with. Because you cannot be asked the number of moles if there is no other information provided. So let us go back to what we are provided and check what we were given about compound B. Compound B, which forms solution B that we have used, was 0 0.05 mora compound B. So this solution B is 0 0.05 mora. That means you should know that 0 0.05 capital M simply means number of moles in one liter. This is capital M stands for morality. And the morality is the number of moles in one liter. Therefore, this one is in a thousand centimeters cube 
of the solution B. That is the most important information we should have. Now this means that 0 0.05 capital M is the number of moles in a thousand centimeters cube of solution what? Of solution B. Because if we have number of moles in solution B, it is compound B that was formed, what that, for, that was that formed solution B. So you should not worry about that. Now the question is number of moles of solution B used. How much of B did we use? Right? We pipetted 25 centimeters cube of B. So we will ask if 0 0.05 moles are in a thousand, what about 25 centimeters cube of solution B? What will be the number of what? Moles. Now it is 25 times C divided by this. 25 times 0 0.05 divided by a thousand. And that's, this one will give you 0 0.00125 moles. So that is the number of moles of compound B that they reacted with C1, C2, right? Next one is calculate the number of moles of hydrochloric acid used. Hydrochloric acid used. Remember hydrochloric acid used here is C2. Remember we pipetted C1 into a 250 volumetric flask and then made a 250 solution in C2 and it is the one we are using. So B to ratio C2, C2 is HCl, HCl. You should know that. So the ratio number of moles of HCl used if one mole of compound B react with two moles of HCl. So the ratio is 1 to 2. To two. But we have the number of moles of B. So B is 0 0.00125 moles. So it is if 1 equal to this, what about 2? So now moles of C2 used, right? equal to 0 0.00125 times 2 which, will, which is equal to 0 0.0025 that is the number of moles of C2 that reacted with B 25B but what was the volume of C2 that reacted with B? we have it here the volume the average this is the average of c2 that reacted with b solution b it's important for you to understand that now the next question is calculate the concentration in moles per liter concentration is moles per liter it means actual morality calculate the mora morality concentration in moles per liter in moles in one liter is morality of HCl acid solution C2. Now we want to calculate the molarity of C2 in a thousand, but we have moles of C2 in 13.63. C2 that reacted with B, with B compound B is 13, the volume is 13.623 centimeters cube. What about now this? So we will ask here like this 13.63 centimeters cube. C2 has got these moles 0 0.0025 moles. What will be the number of moles of C2 in a thousand because we want moles in one liter? One liter equal to a thousand centimeters cube. C2 will be equal to how many moles? So that one will be a thousand times 0 0.0. 025 you divide by 13.63 this one is gonna give us 0 0.0 or 0 0.1 0 0.1834 capital M stands for morality so that is the number of moles of C2 in
in one liter. The next one is calculated the concentration in moles per liter of hydrochloric acid solution C1, the original. Original. We want to calculate the morality of solution C1 in the in the original. Very important. Now here, this way you need to understand it. Remember, we took 25 centimeters cube C1, put it into a 250 centimeters cube volumetric flask. Right? We added water to the to the mark, meaning that we prepared and this solution was called C2. We took mm, that, uh, C, C2, we, from here C2 we used 13. But remember this, the number of moles in 250, the number of moles in 250 C2 will be equal to the number of moles of 25 centimeters cube C1, the original, because moles does not change. Remember that. So moles in 250 C2 will be equal to moles in 25 C1. That is what you need to understand. Now, we know that we have even the concentration of C2. We can even begin there. Or we will use, we will say 13.63 centimeters cube C2, centimeters cube of C2 has how many moles? 0 0.0. 0 to 5 centimeter moles. What about 250 centimeters cube C2? So if we have moles in C2, the volume is 250, we will automatically have moles of C1 in 25, the one we pipetted and diluted. So 25, 250 times 0 0.0025, you divide by 13.63 and this one will give us uh, 0 0.04585 moles so this is the number of moles in 250 centimeters cube solution C2 but remember moles in 250 C2 is equal to moles in C125 so 25 centimeters cube c1 is equal to these moles moles is 0 0.04585 moles right now we will ask what will be the number of moles in in a liter if 25 is this one what about a liter a thousand centimeters cube c1 will be what a thousand times 0 0.045 85 you divide by 25 this one is giving us 1.834 capital m and that is the morality of c1 the original solution c1